What's up guys, I wanted to show you an awesome exposed framework module. Uh, for those of you veteran framework guys, you may already be aware of XUI mod. However, for those of you that aren't, you're gonna absolutely love this. And for those of you that are relatively new to framework or exposed framework, um, you guys are gonna flip out when you see this. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Alrighty, so here it is, XUI mod. This is a really, really impressive mod. And just to kind of give you guys a bit of a teaser, as you can see here, we've got a battery bar. And if you look over in the top right hand corner, you can see my clock there is actually counting in seconds as well. In addition to that, if we jump into my settings here, take a look at my scrolling animation. Ooh, pretty fancy, isn't it? All right, so we're gonna show you how to do that in just a second here. So let's go ahead and back out to the home screen, jump into the application itself. And um, here it is, clock mods, battery bar mods, notification mods, list view animations, and so on and so forth. Uh, so starting out with clock mods, as you can see here, we've got the option to enable the seconds like I'm showing you right there. And I can actually also disable bold, which is what I had it set to before, um, but because my eyes, we're all getting older, yeah, bold. Um, so we can go ahead and re-enable bold. We've got some other options in there as well. You guys can explore. We've got the battery bar mod, so you can choose to enable or disable it, as well as you can get a cool little charging animation. Uh, and then we have notification mods, which in my opinion, out of the entire module itself, it's probably the most boring one because I don't really care to have my uh, quick, tile, um, quick settings tiles here change colors. It's just not something that particularly interests me though. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, so if we can go ahead and back out of there and we move into from pretty much animation and on um, is probably the most exciting part of this module, at least in my opinion. So we can go ahead and click on list view animation. And as you can see here, we've got all kinds of different options in here. So if I wanted to, I can go ahead and for instance, and select wave, and then we can come down here and they have this handy little feature called test list view, how convenient. So we click on test list view. And as you can see here, we can go ahead and give a little fling and it gives us an idea of what the animation would be like. And then if we wanted to, we can go ahead and start screwing around with the interpolator, but though I'll let you guys start playing around with that yourselves. This will take too long. Um, and if you didn't actually like that, actually, let's just jump into that really quickly. If you don't like having that animation in every single application, you do have the option to blacklist certain applications. So maybe you don't want that in your contacts list. Um, you have the option to block that from your contacts list. So that's okay. And I really like that option. Um, so if we back out of there and we can jump into system animation. So we've got all kinds of stuff in here where you can change, as you can see here, control individual system transitions or select a custom animation for window transitions. Now, from what I understand, and I could be totally way off here, that section there is pretty much for when you're bouncing from one application to the other, opening and closing applications, what kind of animation do you want it to have? Um, I don't really care to have any special animations when opening and closing applications are switching between one, so I just kind of left it at that. Uh, but moving on from there, uh, you can see they've got um, different IME uh, animations. So I actually have mine set to random to enter and exit, which is basically opening the keyboard and closing the keyboard. I have mine set to random, so let's just give you guys a bit of an idea of what the different animations look like. So we've got the little test IME animation here. So there's just a regular one that's sort of stock opening it up again, still stock, and there's the exit, which is um, moving, I'm just gonna make sure, yeah, it is set to random, okay. And we can continue, there it is. Now we're starting to see some of the animations um, come in, as you can see, come in and then out, do it again in and out, it, it changes. I mean, if you guys don't like the random, of course, you can always select any one of these that you prefer. Uh, as, as you can see, there's quite a few options for you guys there, which is great. Um, and then we've got scrolling mod. Now, this is something that's really, really cool. You guys ever been scrolling on the list? Maybe you're on the Play Store and you're kind of swiping down the list, checking out applications, you're thinking to yourself, I wish it would scroll quicker or you know, maybe you're in your contacts list and you're like, I wish it could scroll quicker. Or maybe it's moving too fast for you. You wanna slow it down. This is where we can start modifying that. So let's show you here. So we can see um, the best way to, to sort of demonstrate this is clicking on the um, scroll friction. So default value is 150 units. Now let me show you what happens when I put it up to 1500 units. We can go ahead and click on test list view. Watch this, just a little tiny flick from my finger and it does this. Wait, that was a terrible example. Let's try again. Wait, okay, something's not working here. Scroll friction amount. What if I put it down here? One unit, maybe that was it. There it is. <laughs> That's what I meant to do. So as you can see, right? Just one little flick from my finger and it goes 
all the way to the bottom, okay? Um, I do prefer the default value myself personally, and then of course you can always choose the fling velocity, the default value is 8,000 PX, and so on. So that's a really, really cool modification in my opinion, like that, that's really, really awesome. Um, so back out of there, and then we've got some different various other mods, so you can use the classic recent task manager, so basically going into here, that will eventually get me to there. Um, so instead of having this layout here, you'll have the old school um, gingerbread look, which in my opinion sucks. So I'll leave that one up to you guys. Um, then we have the volume panel timeout and volume panel alpha. And aside from that, you have the option to toggle on and off the actual sort of um, <clears throat> home screen application icon. So if you don't want the icon there and you wanna be able to only access this module through the exposed framework, that's something you might want to think about. Anyways, that's it. And of course the module is free because so is exposed framework but that's it for this one though guys hopefully you like this module if you did click that likes button down below and if you have any uh modules that you might want to recommend to me maybe leave something in the comments um but if you're new to the channel subscribe for more videos like this one in the future but that's it thanks as always for watching guys and we'll see you in the next one cheers